I set my cordless phone to lower radiation power. Today I want to measure how the radiation power changes in the different modes. I have a great new cordless phone here. We just recently bought it. In our household it's the fifth generation of decked phones that we are using now. Of course it's better than its predecessors in every respect and we really like using it a lot. Although the decked standard is relatively old, it is still being further developed by the standardization organization ETSI. One of the newer features is that you can reduce the transmit power. I'm interested to understand where the features makes a difference. In the case of DECT, the specifications are freely accessible at ETSI. I'm particularly interested in the so-called physical layer. First, I would like to know the receiver sensitivity and transmit power. So I searched for DBM. The transmission power can be maximum 24 dBm, which corresponds to 250 milliwatts. The receiver sensitivity is minus 83 dBm. But for a low bit error rate, you need at least minus 73 dBm. I summarize the important specifications and an estimate of the range here. In Europe, DECT operates in the frequency band from 1880 to 1900 MHz. The manufacturers specify a range of up to 300 meters in free space and a range of up to 50 meters in buildings. This range specification of course is quite vague. In a previous video I showed how to predict the range of a radio system. It depends in particular on how many walls the signal has to penetrate through. We have developed a small tool for the field strength prediction that can take into account the additional damping of walls etc. I will link you to the video at the top right. And this is what the little Excel tool looks like, by the way. As said, you can use it to estimate the ranges that can be achieved in different scenarios. The range of 300 meters outdoors can actually be calculated and confirmed using the receiver sensitivity and the maximum transmission power. And there would be then even a 10 dB safety margin. With a wall in the signal path that attenuates 8 dB, we can still achieve about 120 meters of range. With two walls still 47 meters and with three walls only 18 meters. Incidentally, these values apply to the mode with the maximum range. This range is more than sufficient for us, so I would like to estimate how much the radiation exposure will actually decrease in the so-called echo mode. The manufacturers are making the following statement about this. When you make calls with the handset, the radiation is reduced by 80%. I would like to measure this in my scenario at home. Let's take a look at what I can actually adjust in the settings. So there are three options here. First we have the unchecked state, which seems to be the echo mode. Second, the maximum range. This is the mode with the maximum transmission power. Third, I could choose the radiation free setting in which the base station remains completely radiation free as long as no calls are made. I am particularly interested in the difference in transmission power between the maximum range mode and the echo mode. To do this we fix the handset at a distance of 15 cm from my RF measuring device which I have already presented and used several times in previous episodes. 
in addition, there are four videos where I show you how to set up the meter yourself. Just click on the top right corner. Today I use the USB interface of the measuring device again to record several hundred measured values in the various modes and later evaluate them with Excel. With the measured values recorded, I can create statistics for a 10-minute telephone call for each scenario. OK, here we have a comparison of the measured field strengths in maximum range mode and in the measured field strengths in echo mode. I took two measurements each at a small distance from the base station of 1.5 meters and at a greater distance from the base station of 10 meters with a wall in between. The measuring device remains always fixed at a distance of 15 centimeters from the telephone. At the very beginning of a connection setup, the handset transmits relatively strong peaks. The maximum and the median value of these peaks is given in the first two lines respectively. The first thing that strikes me is that the phone never sent the full power of 24 dBm because then we would have seen a maximum peak value of 2.5 dBm. In echo mode the peaks when establishing a connection are reduced by up to 5.64 dB. This actually corresponds to a reduction of a maximum peak power by 80%. And of course it reduces the range for call setup. However, over the entire 10 minutes the median peak power is the same in both modes. The floating average value is about 1.1 dB lower for both, the maximum and over the entire 10 minutes. And this corresponds to a reduction in transmission power of almost 30%. So we can say that the maximum exposure is reduced by 80% and the exposure over the entire 10 minutes period is reduced by almost 30%. Well, the details are often different than I thought at first. But very interesting. If you are someone who is interested in wireless systems, then this channel is for you. There is really no reason not to subscribe to the channel. The insights. In my case, in echo mode, the transmission power is actually reduced. But things are a bit more complicated than I thought when I was reading the manufacturer's statement. Anyway, I think that's a good thing for a number of reasons. First, although the phone works with a good encryption, the reduction in range reduces the area in which it could be tapped. This makes it even safer. Second, due to the reduced transmission power, the battery lifetime is increased. Third, the radiation exposure affecting the telephone user is lower. And it also causes less interference with sensitive devices. In theory, this should also make the electricity bill cheaper. However, since the telephone only causes a few euros in electricity costs per year, the savings should only be in the cent range. I couldn't find a real disadvantage in my scenario using the echo mode, since the smaller range is still more than enough to cover our entire apartment. However, I found that I can no longer reach the basement rooms with the decked telephone in echo mode. In my case, however, the signal has to penetrate through three concrete ceilings. With the maximum range setting, it just barely worked. So, 
I'm going to use the echo mode from now on. However, I don't use the radiation free mode because on the one hand I can no longer see whether the base station is still active and on the other hand the handset consumes a little more power due to the constant scanning which reduces battery life. Now stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and support the channel. See you soon in the coming episodes.